working on buttering Tiptoe up because we are trimming his beak today. Oh. Uh. So I want him to be in a pleasant mood. <laughs> no, no. He's trying to eat my shoes. Oh. <laughs> He's been trying to eat these shoes all morning. Granted, they have watermelon, a tiptoe. Is that a watermelon? Yeah, watermelon, strawberry, tiptoe, and a fruit basket. I have my mom and my dad here because they're gonna help me do tiptoe speak so I'm giving them the little demo of how we're gonna make this happen I have a roll of tape a container of strawberries and the drill bit and my plan is to show tiptoe a strawberry he's gonna open his mouth I'm gonna put this in his mouth so then his jaw is kind of locked around the roll of tape and then while He's gnawing open like that. Then we're gonna take the drill bit and we're going to shave down. So it's gonna be a little bit of a process to do it, get him to be stable in that place, drill, move on. A few treats back and forth. I think it's gonna go well. We did it last time with a vet. Yeah, mom. Yeah. Okay. He's tips was fine. So yeah, let's let's do it. We're gonna take a look at his beak so you guys can see the before. You can kind of see how it's jagged. Has a few spots that are just not. I know we wanna have a strawberry. Are not magnificent. It's not in dire need of being trimmed, but we figure as we're going into the warmer months, might as well, might as well get it done now. Okay, we have all of our materials, tape, Dremel, strawberries. He's walking over, so we'll give it a go. I gave it a go. I got a little piece, but we're sending my dad in to see if he can get some more done. So brave, TT. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're going to use the dog nail tripper. Trim.
Okay, we're gonna switch from the drill bit to a dog nail clipper just because the drill bit sandpaper attachment is kind of soft and it's gonna make this process take a lot longer. So we figured might as well try one that's a little bit heavier duty and see if we can get him to keep his mouth open because he's not that scared of it yet, but it's just being able to apply enough pressure to it to grind it down while he's moving his head. Like, you gotta be careful. Okay, show him one. We are taking a little bit of a break. But he's not scared of it yet. I know. Coming right on my lap. Tell me all about, oh! He's on my foot. Tell me all about how. That was actually a good little clip. Actually, that was. Got a little bit more. Are you watching? <laughs> We got a little bit of Tiptoes Beak trimmed, but I'm thinking that it may be something that's like a little bit of a process. He didn't get too uncomfortable with it, but he did go into his shell a few times, and I just want to avoid a little bit of it discomfort. I mean, he's he's fine. He's totally fine. But I get nervous when I'm like applying pressure to it and it's right on his right on his mouth because like if he chomps down like that thing is freaking hard. So I think that we did a good job for today. We definitely got some of the portions ground down a bit. Let's show. It's not perfection, but progress over perfection. Mm. Can you see? So now he basically just, he still has his two fangs, but the si the pieces on the side are a lot more smooth down. And as you can see, Tiptoe is a man on a mission today. He has so much energy Ooh. on the feet. Okay, so much energy. So <laughs> we, may, we may continue this over the next few days until we can get that to be completely flush. I do think that his little point things add a little bit of personality to him. So, <laughs> it's Tiptoe's Mark, but thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you guys want to see anything else that's Tiptoe related, as we're getting into the warmer months too, we'll be so much more active, posting videos, getting outside, meeting a ton of you guys hopefully. So, have a beautiful rest of your day.